Bend, Indiana, home of Notre Dame University. The College Football Hall of Fame, which until recently was located in Southern Ohio. And Frank's Red Hots Hot Dogs, that South Benders seem to like better than Hamburg's. And this place, the Studebaker National Museum. Some experts credit the Studebaker styling of the 1950s with being the forerunner of much of the modern car styling of today. I, I think you have to say the 53 Lowy Coupe. Uh, this was designed, yes, this was designed by Bob Bork uh, of the Lowy design team. And it was really a style setting. When you compare this to other cars of that time. The last Studebaker rolled off the assembly line here in South Bend in December of 1963. The end of a proud automotive company that traced its roots back to these wagons and carriages once used by presidents in the 19th century. But Radecki says the company really didn't go out of business. Studebaker really didn't fail. They just redesigned themselves. They were a diversified company and the automotive business uh, was not making them money so they closed down the North American uh, car production and in the following years were a very successful company as a diversified industrial company. Selling what thing? Owning generators, Gravely Tractor, STP products. What they left behind was a collection of prototype cars, cars that never were. These were built in 1963 and have classic lines that look new even today. For instance, the station wagon that had a unique tailgate that also opened up the roof for carrying tall items. And this prototype of the 1950s that was an engineer's idea of what cars by the year 2000 might look like. Apparently, we still have a ways to go. You know, there's all kinds of famous cars here. This yellow one, for example, you might have seen in the movie, the color purple. Studebaker may be gone, but it's certainly not forgotten in its hometown here in northern Indiana. It's just a wake-up, one-tank trip away. I'm Neil Zerker, Fox 8 News, South Bend, Indiana.